Hey guys, Justin here. I'm in Morley bus station right now and let's continue with the 999 subscriber special full journey. 750 subscribers full journey. Let's continue. Oh, that driver over there. I recognize him always. The ball driver here up here in Morley. I recognize him quite a lot of times. But uh, unfortunately, one just left. 999. So that's fine. We'll wait for the next one. I just need, I will just finish off today at Sterling Station. We're not going to go any further than that. Tomorrow we will finish it off. The other two parts down to Fremantle. But we need to get to Sterling by 3.12. Right now is 1.30. So we have definitely plenty of time to get enough buses to actually get the front seat. So let's get ready. So this part will be to Sterling Station, which is a very short section. Uh, so it says 25 minutes, but let's get it. All right, here we go again. After lunch, on to our fourth section with a trans dev bus 3306. More of these 33XX buses. Now, this, these are just the boring buses here, 3306 and stuff. But the non-boring ones for 33s will be 3300 to 3302. These are the three buses that's not boring. But all of the other ones are all boring buses. We go to Sterling. Again, actually, I didn't even need to wait for another bus because as soon as it came, the front seat was actually occupied. But as soon as I step on it, the, the person got off, so that's why it's very straightforward. Nine eighty over there, gas bus. Twenty oh nine, and nine eight over there. Arctic 3146 Nice Wonder why is an Arctic? Is this a school trip? Not that early, it's 130 something. What the hell is that thing doing? 3146, is that a path one? I don't remember. Alright, so I'm really not familiar with this section over here, but this is the same as the 980 for a little bit. It's just after that it's turned somewhere, but I don't remember. But the 999 is definitely fun to actually take if you actually take breaks in between if you take it in one go, which is going to be pretty miserable. Which is, I uh, still don't know how the hell Riley actually took the, the, the uh, circle routes twice <laughs> on the same bus. Didn't get off the entire time, six and a half hours or so. At that time was the time when the 34XX started operation, so that's why it was on the circle route. And then <laughs> Riley literally took two trips, full journey, two of them, on the 998 full journey. Two whole trips on the same bus because it's a new bus. And then he literally took a whole trip. Like how? How can you not get sick? And how the hell you not get fed up with the same things over and over? I will get fed up if I take a bus more, more than three hours. Ah, 
Alright, so far nothing good though for the bosses. It's really bad actually, the selections of bosses. For the videos. And then of course the bosses used so far for all four of them I've taken are all very decent bosses, but it's just I want some Karen Yab ones, I want some like Shenton Park ones. Alright, turn on the Grand Promenade here. I, I think there's a 67 or 68 at the front that just drove by, right at the front over there. Okay. Uh, 67? Yep, 67. Yeah, that's for sure 67 then, because that's the only other route that's actually running along here. I'm actually using a 67 way more, more often now on Sundays. Now, I'm just using it for free transit zone, but it actually times time it pretty well with uh, the 960 that I take to the city every single week on a Sunday. 2712 over there on a the 67. Going to Mirabuka for this guy over here, it's 2712. Not someone that I know. Oh, actually, I know that guy. Actually, I know that guy. I know that guy. One time he was on an NH 960 service, and then it was completely full for that NH, so I was standing right next to him. Dianella Plaza. We got the Alexander Drive routes over there. I saw two buses just drove by. Which we have made it to Alexander Drive. Here's Dianella Plaza. Which will continue our way horizontal and then we'll hit Warnaroo Road and then since we hit Warnaroo Road we'll go straight into Stirling Station. Nine sixty over there. And a circle route over there, a path bus this time. Twenty seven sixty five. On the Mori Drive, turn left. Got some signs over here. 67 deviation. Don't know what that one is.
Continue our way through. Ah, but the thing is, before last year, when I saw those gas buses, I saw like so many gas buses on the uh, on the uh, on the circle routes one time, and then I was like, "What the hell?" I should have actually taken one of them, but I didn't make, didn't actually get it. Uh, which is actually really unfortunate because gas bus on nine nine on the circle routes I've never tried before. It's very common in the past, but not now. What is this sixty seven deviation? Is it like something that has been withdrawn, but has actually available before? Now I do know about the 68 deviation that was uh, before, just that one loop into the Dianella Plaza, but it's withdrawn, I know that one. Alright, we've made it onto Flinders Street right here, which is actually just saw 970 drove by, 3320. Ah, babies are starting to come in. Freaking A. Thirty three twenty is like all over the place, I always see them. Like either on weekends on the nine on the nine oh seven or just up here randomly on random routes again. I've seen it so many times these days, 990, 970, and I take it and I took it on the 907 before. Which is still feels so weird because carrying up actually do carrying up will help to do the 907 on weekends. 907. It's like completely on the wrong side of the map. <laughs> Carrying up is usually for Northern Suburbs and Sterling Warwick routes, and then suddenly it needs to go all the way down to Armadale on weekends. Like, what the hell? It's like completely on the wrong side of the map. Well, it's actually still better than before during the normal Armadale line shutdown. Like, normal weekend Armadale line shutdowns with the full line before the shutdown last year. Bean Yup Depot also run all the way down to Armadale for their 907 replacement service. Which is so bad. One over road. And we'll continue straight, we'll hit Sterling Station. This is a very, very straightforward section, not unique at all. It's just literally all straight paths. I think we're hitting where the uh, the four two and four three runs along, or maybe four one four. Not so sure about that one. But after that, I'm not gonna go anymore. Oh, it's just nine 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 exclusive figure. Not gonna go anymore for the day. We'll just wait for our four one three service, which is gonna be an hour actually. <laughs> oh man, it's actually an hour wait, but. If I want to do the three one a uh, four one three, which I definitely do, I might take like an A series or something and loop around first, and just like do train sporting or something. I'm not gonna film a video. I'm just gonna take a look at the trains and see how many A series, or maybe like spot the C series when they're actually when hopefully it's running because no one knows actually when it's gonna run anymore for the C series. Still doesn't have really a regular timetable.
Yep, 4-2 has joined back in for the section now. I also have 415, which is, uh, yeah, from Mirabuka over the Sterling. Which that's also a pretty useful route. With more routes now, 4-3 also joined back in. But uh, the uh, the station is still not in sight. I think there is a uh, another circle route on the other side over there, 998. Twenty nine eighty eight. Alright, turning down onto Cedric, uh, Cedric Street here. I don't remember actually what route goes over that way though. <laughs> that actually turns left right here. Oh, is it just those routes that should go up to... Uh, oh yeah, just those routes go up to Warwick if you turn left. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Right, we're at Booker Bus Station, 415, 2900, okay, 432 Bus Port, 3329, that's where I'm carrying up one. Yep, all of the routes have joined in, 4243, 414415, 424, 425, 428. Which all of these routes I have taken, so that's why I don't need to take them again. <laughs> For now, when I film it, I will take it again. Especially those carrying your bus station routes, it's pretty cool. I haven't done any of the carrying your bus station routes, except the 650, which is weird. That I actually haven't done anything except the stadium special. And it's disturbing. Rising the bell. That's always what I do. No matter what it is, if it's even if it's stopped, actually it should must stop anyways. Like a big chain interchange station, I always press the bell. If it is not a terminus, okay. If it's a terminus, I never press the bell because the driver should know what they're doing. Because I put myself as the driver, and what do I feel if someone press the bell when I when it, when I'm driving into a terminus? I would just think that they don't know what am I doing. I mean, they. I would just think that. If they press the bell for a terminus, that means they think that I don't know what I should do. So that's why I will feel bad if they actually press the bell for a terminus stop. Because it just it just gives me a feeling that the passenger thought I would not stop. That means he doesn't that means he thinks that I will not be able to do my job and I won't know actually I need to stop here and I just drive out. No, <laughs> That's why I never press the bell for terminus, but I always press the bell for a mid stop, regardless of how big it is. The stop, like Curtin Uni bus station, it should stop regardless of whether anyone pressed the bell. But I still press the bell because it is a mid stop. 
2870 over there, 998. And 999, stand right here. Off for this part four. Alright, drop off now, 3306. I just want to say is there, for the three depots, their destos are all, the, all over the place. This is Transdev, and then it does change around. For Path, it usually doesn't change around, but for Transdev, always change around. It says Terminus 3 Mantle Station. But for the Swan one over there, 2870, it just says Terminus Fremantle. It actually doesn't say Terminus Fremantle Station, it says Terminus Fremantle. So that's why there are like three different versions for the Desto, for different companies, I mean different contractors. Which is so weird, but at least they actually help actually recognize the uh, depots a little easier. But sometimes the thing is, sometimes the path buses also have the, the Desto actually switching around, so yeah. This is going to go this is going to be gone in a month time. No more P pattern. And then all these things is gonna change as well. <laughs> that 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 over there. So the, the K pattern will stay and the W pattern of course stays, but yeah, but the timetable actually is gonna be really dumb because Because the uh, the current W patterns on the afternoon section will become full trips while the full trips will become a W pattern. So basically all of the timings are swapped around. Which is so bad because then you're just like... Because <laughs> all of the timings are just uh, fucked up after that. And then you, sh you just basically have the whole timetable ruined. Because right now it's pretty perfect time, but now it's basically the whole time to switch because this W will be not W, but these two will be W. <laughs> That's why it's so bad, but... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. Click the bell so that you can get notifications when I post. Check out the links in the description down below for my other channels and my Instagram. And I don't know whether they can complete this in, uh, by late 2024. A new bus station with 16 stops with uh, tons, with 18 we're from 18 bus stands to 30 stands. I have no idea how they can actually put in 30 stands for the, the bus station. That's crazy. <laughs> but that's it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!